There's something terrible inside all of us. It hurts people, denies opportunities, and can even destroy lives. What is this terrible thing? Implicit bias. Okay, okay, okay. The human brain is a wonder, capable of making meaning from a constant barrage of information. To do this, the brain relies on shortcuts that notice patterns and group things into categories. These shortcuts often happen below our consciousness, sorting through all that stuff, mixing with our life experiences and cultural influences to form what we call biases. Hold up, don't get defensive. Biases are not all inherently negative, and we all have them. They're just attitudes and stereotypes our brains use to quickly process new info. Shortcuts, remember? Biases help us with conscious choices like when you decide to avoid a risky deal or hang with your favorite friends. On the flip side, bias can also be straight up discrimination. Like if you actively choose not to hire a person solely because she's a woman. That's just being sexist. So, as long as we don't explicitly act on nasty biases about other people, we're good, right? Well, here's the tough part. We don't always know when and how biases are guiding our actions and decisions. Enter implicit bias. Implicit means hidden or not consciously held. When our brain sorts automatically, that process may be based more on biases than facts. It's like an invisible rudder steering our ship in some direction regardless of where we think we are choosing to go. And we often don't even know it's happening. Want an example? Perhaps you have immediate assumptions about who lives in a house like this or like this. Maybe you think some of these kids are athletic and others are good students. Or maybe you have a gut reaction about which of these job candidates would be more reliable. Sure, we may be aware of some of the factors shaping our decisions, but research shows that implicit biases below the surface affect our next moves just as much. Everyone has an invisible rudder. So the solution is not to be smart enough or strong enough to overcome it. The solution begins when we acknowledge how each of our hidden biases play out on a large scale in unjust policies and institutions. I wasn't exaggerating when I said that lives can be shaped and even destroyed by these rudders. Study after study shows they have a real impact on decisions in the workplace, the doctor's office, the courtroom, and more. Look. It's no secret why implicit bias triggers the alarm. We want to think of ourselves as decent people, right? Free from prejudice. Here's the good news. We can be good people while also acknowledging that we have these hidden biases. We can't eliminate implicit bias, but we can reduce its impact by talking about it and recognizing it for what it is. So the real question is, what will you do now that you know?